Yes, 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 you are here. I'm here in Krakow, in Poland, at the Apex Legends pre-season invitational. Look, so this is the first big international proper tournament for Apex Legends, which has now officially become a fully legit eSport. Now, we've got two brackets in this competition. We've got the winner's bracket and the loser's bracket is a double elimination tournament. So the best 10 teams will move on to the winner's bracket. The rest will go on to the loser's bracket. There are three rounds in each and we're in the middle of it right now. So we're gonna try and capture some footage of the event, show you guys what's going on. I'm also gonna get some interviews for you and talk to some of the best known teams in the UK and around the world. Everyone who is everyone in Apex Legends is at this event right now. With the game, obviously it's rapidly changing since launch. What do you feel about the direction it's heading in? They're doing uh, great work, listening to the pro community. Just got to talk to them more. So. Yeah, I think the latest hop-ups they added with Season 2 is not really the best addition, but I hope they can do something about it. Yeah. Yeah, so. Respawn obviously introducing guns from Titanfall into Apex. Is there any particular gun that you guys would love to see enter the game? A bolt action sniper rifle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, maybe the car from Titanfall. Okay. Yeah, the gun is really cool. And what about the new characters that they've slotted in? Have they fitted in perfectly or? Yeah, Watson is really good. It's really good for W keys, push and uh, nades of course. So I think she's a perfect addition. Well, I mean, everyone here seems to be using Watson. So do you not think it's a bit of an OP ad or? Kind of is, yeah. <laughs> a bit OP, but they nerfed her like recently, like um, took a pile on something three at the same time to one now. So that just seems a bit more reasonable, yeah. but she's still a bit strong, I think. Right. Is there any one point you'd like to say to the UK community, gaming community, get them involved in the esports uh, competitive Apex Legends area? Don't be scared to uh, get into it. It's fun. Like I had no idea I would end up here. I just played with friends and. Uh, I got sniped by Alliance. Anything can happen. How's your weekend been? Uh, it's been, you know, there's been ups and downs. Obviously, the downs being that we just got eliminated. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, as hard as it is to even think about the positives right now, um, we're really, really proud of how we've, far we've come. Because uh, our first tournament together at the X Games, we were pretty much non-existent. We, we put up a really, really bad result. Uh, we went home and we just grinded the game. We just uh, practiced all day, every day, leading up to Poland wanting to redeem ourselves. Obviously, to us, this wasn't quite the redemption um, you know, we wanted, but I still think there was glimpses of you know, us. It, it showed how hard we worked, I think. I think we really showed how hard we worked and how, how hard we tried to um, improve our game and improve our you know, uh, VR knowledge. I just think that at the end of the day, you know, not to make any excuses, at a month from rock bottom, it, you're you're not gonna you know you're not gonna become the best team in the world. So let's talk about the game for a minute. You mentioned there you had bad loot in one of your matches. Obviously, you wouldn't get that in Overwatch. This is an element of chance that is specific to the battle royale genre. How do you get around that if you do get crappy loot? How are you gonna push that to a success to a win? Uh, I think it's just uh, all about timing, it's all about, you know, uh, not to say the obvious, but it's just uh, waiting, 
waiting for the right moment to uh, pounce on a team and just take their loot. Uh, whether it's getting to the zone as early as possible and holding people out that are coming in late uh, because you have position and they have to rotate in. Um, whether it's rotating in early and seeing two, two teams fighting already and then trying to uh, clean up. Uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of opportunities to be made. There is a heavy RNG um, you know, factor when it comes to loot, but I think uh, it's overplayed like uh, in, in terms of people diminishing the competitive integrity of Battle Royales. I really think it's overplayed because, you know, obviously that doesn't happen in Overwatch and, and other, other games like CSGO and stuff, but I just see it like poker where like you, you're dealt a hand and you play and everyone knows how to play this hand. Everyone knows how to play the, you know, low loot, uh, hard rotation hand as best as you can and you're probably, you, you just don't play it like you're going to win that game. Like if you get a bad hand in poker, you're not going to play like you're not going to all in and think like yeah i'm going to win this this hand like no there you're going to have hands where you, you just try to make the best of it if and then sometimes there's a small chance that you do turn it into something and snowball it and then maybe win it but you don't you move you you go forward in that game without the mindset you uh that you're going to win it's it's more that let's get as many points as we can do what we can with what we have but um that's why you have like multiple matches you know you're graded on you know your your performance over across multiple games so you're gonna be dealt good hands you're gonna be dealt bad hands but at the end of the day the best team's gonna win i really truly believe that we weren't the best team today um but you know what i'm not gonna blame it on you know bad loot or bad whatever we could have played our hands better whether it was the good ones or the bad ones <laughs>
I mean, we even had to make a lot of adjustments to the meta, if you, if you will, um, and the main one being, previously, before she was introduced to the game, you had a lot more freedom to take fights, um, and like third partying is like a big mechanic in battle royales, but it becomes even more egregious when you can't really push teams to begin with, and pushing them becomes extremely dangerous in multiple ways, right? So yeah, it would be it would be wonderful. It yeah. affects the showmanship, doesn't it? If people, players want to see lots of combat going on, they don't want to see people holding back all the time. The spectators want to see you diving in there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, the meta that came before Watson was a Pathfinder Lifeline meta, and before that was a uh, Lifeline Bangalore. Obviously, the centerpiece being Wraith of all of these team compositions. And uh, in those metas, there was a lot of room for outplaying. Uh, it wasn't very circle rush heavy. Uh, you could actually make plays on the outskirts. Uh, you could always find a way in. You could always siege teams. If people had the best spot in the game, they didn't have it locked down as well. Uh, they always, they had to actually defend their territory. And um, I think it'd be really cool if the game would shift back towards that outplaying uh, potential uh, meta. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and see you on the next one. Cheers! Sure.